There are teeny, tiny, off-the-radar towns that you've probably never heard of. And you know what we can do with those towns? We can make a bunch of money by an incredibly cost-effective real estate and holding it as rentals. What if I told you I'd get you four houses on the lake for like $30,000 out of your pocket? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, I'm working with my girl Paula from Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. That's a city that I think everybody who's watching this show's heard of, right? Everybody's heard of Austin, Texas. You've also probably all heard about Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Los Angeles, California, right? These are all widely known areas. Hell, a little bit less known than those, but you've probably all heard of it. Cleveland, right? Cleveland, Ohio. Everybody's heard of Cleveland. We got LeBron. Well, we had LeBron. You know what I mean. We also had the Indians. Now we got the Guardians. We got the Browns, right? Cleveland. Lesser known than those areas in Texas, but still pretty well known on a national spotlight. Hell, we got the guy that was in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He's from the Cleveland area, right? People know Cleveland. But guess what? Areas like Cleveland are a lot cheaper than areas in Texas. That's what drew you into us, Paula. Drew you into this market because you know you can make some cash flow here you can't make there. But guess what? It gets even better. It gets even deeper. When you get a localized understanding, you'll find out that there is actually cities that are not Cleveland but are surrounding Cleveland that are off the radar and kicking off even higher rental returns than Cleveland, right? And your boy Jay Wise, I got a straight line track into those areas. I know all about the hidden gems, the places investors aren't thinking about. And I got a four unit, four houses right on Lake Erie for a fraction of what you would anticipate paying for these, right? We're going to be able to get you this deal. You're going to drop like $30,000 cash, nothing else. I'm going to tell you all about it right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, see what we got going on. Man, I actually, uh, <clears throat> I really dig this one, right? This is this is a really cool one, okay? They're asking $139.9, and it's been on the market for 71 days, right? I got to say, if you're in the Cleveland market, I love, I love Lorraine, dude. It is like so off the radar it's insane right you get cleveland and everybody right everybody from all over the world like you see you see the articles you see like realtor.com has interviewed me several times about cleveland this cleveland that right and you got the cleveland cavaliers cleveland browns cleveland indians or for you woke motherfuckers the cleveland guardians right you got all that stuff out there right and it's cleveland 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 people forget the Northeast Ohio area has more cities than Cleveland. Like, this city's like 30 minutes out, right? We manage a bunch of stuff in Lorraine, and it's just off the radar. Nobody's paying attention. And by the way, you see that photo right there, right? See this photo? I don't know if you can tell it's all small, but you, you see that? You see what that is? Yeah, that's Lake Erie, right? One of the five largest freshwater lakes in the United States of America, right? These are the houses, right? You got the little duplex action, two little cottages, right? All four of these units right on the friggin' lake. They're only asking 139 and they still haven't sold it because Lorraine is just so off the radar. There's just not a lot of people paying attention, right? There's that, and then there's also the fact that the rent low, rent roll <clears throat> appears to be pretty low. Uh, you get that, right? You get a lot of that when you're investing in these properties that are just being ran by, like, mom and pops, right? Not everybody that invests in real estate is running a big old freaking multi-million dollar operation like Holton Wise. Not everybody that's running these little rental properties has sold $200 million worth of this stuff, right? But luckily, you're working with Holton Wise, so you get that backing. And I can tell you without a doubt that these rents are way too low, right? 350 310 375 400 right? We're going to get those bad boys way up, man. There's a lot of meat on this bone, right? All four of these units, six fifty a pop, right? So that'll be market rent, $2,600 a month. 
That's over 31 G's for the year. Now, of course, you don't get to keep all that. We got expenses. There is expense involved in operating a rental property. If you don't believe that, well, you should watch more of my show because I talk about it quite often, right? About $17,000 is what I anticipate it's going to cost to operate this property with my team doing all the property management on your behalf, leaving you with almost $14,000 in profit. And because it's been on the market and it hasn't moved, I don't actually think we need to pay uh, full freight, right? I think we could come in a little bit lower, right? Probably about 135. Ideally, I'd like to close it out for you at 135. Maybe though, maybe we go in at 139.9, and then after we get our inspection reports, I could use that as leverage to kind of beat the seller up a little bit, right? That's probably the move. But ideally, I would like to be targeting a 135 closing price on this, right? And then with financing. You put up 33 and three quarters. The bank kicks in another 101. That's going to be a long-term cash-on-cash projection return of 26%. Man, this is great. And I love this little neighborhood, dude. It's nice. It's solid. It's blue-collar. You can go cash tenants. You can go Section 8 tenants. Both work, right? For this property... I wouldn't be planning on kicking all four of those tenants out. I'd want to slowly increase their rents, get them as close to that 650 as we possibly can, right? Because uh, unlike super luxury real estate, folks, when you're in the lower income space, which this is, yes, there is a lake right there, but, you know, these are still $650 units or currently, right, the people that are currently living there, right? If you're a very affluent person, you don't live in a home that only costs $310, right? So when you're in that business, you're going to, get a decent amount of turnover so what we never want to do we never want to create that artificial turnover right so what we want to do is we want to keep these folks in all of their units as long as we possibly can we want to delay doing a unit turnover when one naturally goes empty yeah we'll get in there pop a quick old refresh paint everything probably slap in some new countertops new new kitchen cabinets things of that nature and get a 650 fifty dollar tenant but what we want to do ideally is get these folks up to there right without doing the turnover because guess what you can't live anywhere else for 310 they got lucky with this mom and pop landlord who's just giving it away right but that's not what we're gonna do right we are gonna come in here we're gonna be fair but we have a bottom line to think about we are doing this not for charity but for money so we are going to need to increase those rents but this one is a hell of a deal uh i'm just Kind of shocked it's actually still on the market, but that just shows you how off the radar uh, Lorraine is. So this one, I friggin' love this one. Let's get it done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.